All right. In this video, I want to show you how to manually create your own restore point. I'm sure there's been many times when you downloaded something and you go to your you go to your browser and all of a sudden everything seems to look different or it even acts different and that's yeah, because not all programs work with your computer. You might get the same program from somewhere else and it will work. Either way, here's how you can avoid all of the worries of having it affect your computer in the wrong way. You just click on the start menu and on computer instead of left clicking you right click on it and then click on properties. Now in here is the basic information for your system. You got your system type, 64 bits mine is, and your, your processor, and your installed memory, your RAM. Okay, enough of that. Up here you click on system protection, and here is where you would normally restore your computer to an earlier time you can just go really really go back in time and just erase everything that you have just put on it and uh, normally you would just click system restore and then next now I just made one of these a second ago and I made this video and I actually coughed and I just don't like that so I started over <laughs> everything is fine at this point is what I created well I'm gonna do another one just to show you how. Here's an automatic restore point right here, which sometimes they do when you download something, but not always. So just in case, I'm gonna show you how to manually do it. And then you normally you would click next, and then you go through a couple click, couple more clicks for the whole process. But I'll show you more on that in a second. Here is how you create your own restore point. Down here at the bottom, you click create. Now right here you can write down anything you want. Like if you're going to download something you would write prior to downloading such and such, whatever you're doing. Or if you're installing updates on your computer, just regular Windows Microsoft updates, you would write prior to installing Microsoft updates. Well I don't have nothing wrong with this one here, everything is just fine and I create one on my on my own just just because it's running good in case something goes wrong even if you get a virus you can go back in time and erase that virus good portion of the time so I and yes I always write in capital letters and I type with one finger too so here let's see let me write here prior no let me redo that everything is fine at this point and then you click create now the date and the time will be added automatically and like I said it's very important to do this once in a while because sometimes all you'll have is an update to click on and you, you don't you really don't know what you'll be losing sometimes <laughs> some sometimes something if unless you create your own restore point now I've created my own again right there so now there should be two click on that see there it is there's the last one and there's a new one now if you have any doubts on what will actually happen when you use one of them like I can go to this automatic restore point and I can click on scan for affected programs right here and all that does is it shows you what would happen if you restore your point your computer to an earlier time at that exact point I can do the same here now obviously I very seldom anything will happen because I created that one right there but it's still a pretty good idea to see what would happen and usually it's nothing and it never erases anything in any pictures any documents that you made install or downloaded from anywhere or anything just don't mess with that stuff all it does is your windows mostly just windows alright then I guess that's just about it I can't explain much more on that 
Alright, thank you guys very much for watching.